So, you lost the 50-50, huh? Yeah, I know why you're here. Most likely a flashing new character was just about to be yours, then... Jean shows up. Well, congratulations! She is still a stellar choice for any party in Genshin Impact, and you're in the right place to learn more. We got artifacts, weapons, talent priorities, party compositions, and more. So what can you expect to do as Jean? Jean is the master of yeeting enemies far and wide. Her elemental skill pushes enemies back with a quick tap, or you can hold it to pull in multiple enemies or objects such as please bombs at once and then send them flying. Fall damage is rarely a relevant metric in Genshin Impact, but Jean breaks the mold here. If you aim upwards just a bit, you can deal a nice extra chunk of damage. It also only has a 6 second cooldown, so you can use this frequently to build up to the elemental burst. This gives you a large heal in an area around you instantly and continues to heal afterwards for a short amount of time. It also applies animo to the characters in this zone constantly, making it useful for some encounters where you want to cleanse your elements. It's also worth noting that Jean's charge attack suspends enemies in the air for a few seconds, which, together with the pushback from her skill, can make her the queen of crowd control when combined. But how do you build her? Well, first you need to yeet a bunch of dandelions, collect the masks from those hilly chills from whatever hill you push them off, slay the violin a bunch, and reintroduce the animo hypostasis to the dirt. And don't forget to read about resistance. Got all your materials? Smash it! Now, you have to choose what you want Jean to do. Be your main damage dealer or support. What's that you say? Support? Good. Jean is far better as part of a team than the focal point of it. If you did want to have her as a main damage dealer, you'd make sure to have Pale Flame, a physical damage gauntlet, and basically any 5-star weapon, but you're not going to do that to Jean, are you? Good. Support it is. Jean is a great support for a number of teams. With a bit of planning, she can dish out good damage while you're at it, if that's what you like. That's a lot of damage! Be a weapon, any 5-star will run you well. The new Inner Zoom and 4-star weapon, Amenona Kagayuchi, it gives you an attack percent buff, which Jean's healing actually scales off, so this is a fantastic choice, and also boosts your energy recharge, meaning more heals more often. Unless you have a Primordial Jade Cutter, there's little reason to actually use anything else, which is really refreshing for a support. <sighs> your talents, prioritize elemental burst to improve your healing first, then go for your skill, but ignore your attack. You don't really need it. Get them both to about 6 and then pop this one up to 9. Jean has a ton of choice when it comes to artifacts. There are four main sets I'd recommend in order of priority, and it depends heavily on your team. Firstly, Viridescent Veneer is one of the most powerful artifact sets out there, giving a massive boost to elemental damage when you set it up correctly. If you're planning a team for Jean that doesn't have one of these and you're going to be swirling, use this. No exceptions. It's that good. However, say you have someone like a Venti with this artifact set already, or your team doesn't actually benefit from this, such as Double Animo, Double Geo, the next best option is going to be a four piece and a blessed set, with its damage buff equally invaluable to your team. And finally, if you've got both of these already covered in your team, a two piece Viridescent Veneer set, and then either one of these two if you need to add more damage and healing, or Emblem of Severed Fate if you're low in energy recharge is your best choice. It can be hard to choose from all these options, but it also means you can make your gene very flexible. Or just give her whatever artifacts you have spare, since at this point you probably already have one of these sets ready already, and they all work just fine. For stats, again, Jean gives you flexibility. You can use attack in any slot that you like if you feel like you want more healing, and then you can go for energy recharge if you need more energy to do your heal more. And if you want to focus on damage, it's actually better to go for animo damage and crit. That'll give you a bit more boost on your abilities, but will lead to slightly less healing on the ultimate. This essentially makes Jean a great home for all those artifacts you've left behind over the months of playing, and you can breathe some new life into them. But again, this all depends on your party choice. Any party in need of a healer that can dish out decent damage will appreciate a Jean. In particular, she pairs great with other animo carries such as Zhao, with her low elemental skill cooldown acting as a great source of energy to get Zhao recharged for his elemental burst again ASAP. Zhao is the best pair for Jean in my opinion, but any party that needs a healer with some damage will appreciate her. If you lost the 50-50 for a Jean constellation and not the character, Takamaki's got it! So Kamaki's got it. They've got the five star. We've got our five star. Hello, Jean. Oh, it's fine. I like Jean. <laughs> I'm sorry. The first is pretty bad, but they do get better from there. At least it's a little consolation prize. Get it? Not consolation? Consolation? <laughs> And that about does it. Even if you lost the 50-50, at least it wasn't GG, right? 
you have a cool character now and a guarantee to get what you want next time. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and best of luck in your next poll.